Hey everyone, so in this video we'll be talking about the last portion of navigation stack uh, which is basically a robot description when it comes to RWS. Uh, in this video we'll talk about the launch file which actually uh, takes the URDF data of the robot and puts it onto the RWS. That is all we need to do and complete the navigation stack. So let us see how it is done. So here you can see there are two files which are the most important, launch file and URDF file. Launch file will be connecting to URDF into the RWS. That is how the flow of the data would be. So let's see launch first and then we'll connect URDF and then RWS. Inside launch, we'll see robot AMCL. As you can see, we are doing three things here. First one is telling RWS from where to take the data of the URDF of the robot. A second is joint values which will be given by Gazebo and will be published onto RWS. Third is a robot state combining all the joints together and all the values together so we can put that onto our real robot. And the fourth one is the execution of RWS itself with the configuration of AMCL. We'll see this as well in a while. Now going inside URDF, you can see we have four different files. So first one is about all the hardware which is being put onto the robot with its mass and inertia. Second file would be the real parameters or the physical parameters of the sensors and the actuators which are getting put onto the robot with all the resolutions and all the minimum angles and maximum angles of the lidar. Third one is a material specification for gazebo. And fourth one can be configured for external forces or appliances which will be given to the robot. For now and for our case it is nothing. Now we'll talk about RWIS and its configuration. When you go inside RWIS you can see AMCL and mapping config. We'll be going with AMCL because we are not trying to map in real time scenario. We are trying to use that mapping to navigate from one point to the other. When I go inside the AMCL, there is a configuration which has been put so that RWIS reads this configuration and puts the settings into the same manner. This is the most important part of RWIS configuration when it comes to AMCL. After doing so, let's try to execute this navigation and see how it looks like. In the first terminal, launch the gazebo. In the second terminal, launch AMCL. And in the third terminal, launch RWIS with the configuration. You can see here that gazebo simulation has started the way we did it in our fourth tutorial. You can also see how the RWIS has configured from the configuration file given all the laser data and part data and is able to show the laser data and the robot in the real time basis. So let me give you an example. I want the robot to go from this point to this location on the map and orient itself towards this point. Let's see how it does it. Now while doing the navigation, you will see there are two lines coming up, green line and the blue line. Now the green line here is the global planner, which helps the robot to go from one point to the other. And the green line here makes sure that robot stays onto the global planner. That is basically the PID that we have tuned so that it stays onto the global planner. So let's see how it really solves. So now the robot has reached its destination. In the whole course of the tutorial, we have gone from the very basics of navigation stack. Now in the whole course of the tutorial, we have gone from the very basics of ROS and we have implemented a navigation stack. Congratulations. I hope you have understood how to connect all the dots together to do a navigation stack onto a simulated robot. Um, I apologize I could not uh, really make a real robot go from one point to the other because of the COVID which is happening. I am not able to go to my house. So as soon as I will go back to my house, I will configure the robot and make a tutorial on that as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.